Yuji Horii recently sat down with Katsuda Hashino, the director of Persona 3, Persona 4, and this game right here that everyone will play. And Horii made some interesting comments in regards to the silent protagonist. More so on how hard it is going to be as graphics become more realistic to depict a silent protagonist. And definitely for sure most people are speculating on the future of Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest 12, and whether or not silent protagonists will be a thing in the past for the Dragon Quest series as a whole. And I have a few thoughts about this, and we'll discuss this as we go along. But of course before we dive right in, make sure you go on and hit that like button, share this video around, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. So first things first, let's read some of the quotes from Yuji Horii during this sit down with Hashino. As Yuji Horii said this, As game graphics evolve and grow increasingly realistic, if you make a protagonist who just stands there, they will look like an idiot. And Horii later moved on to say this, That's why the type of protagonist featured in Dragon Quest becomes increasingly difficult to depict as games become more realistic. This will be a challenge in the future too. So from right there, you can kind of tell Yuji Horii is kind of admitting that silent protagonists are becoming much more difficult to depict in a game due to the fact that graphics are becoming more and more realistic. To which, if you look at recent Dragon Quest games, you can kind of see a bit of merit within Horii's words. Dragon Quest XI had the Luminary just stand there looking like an idiot in most cases. Same thing went with Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. But at the same time, I just find these statements to be relatively confusing primarily because of the fact, yeah, those characters were relatively emotionless in those games, but if you look at a game like Dragon Quest VIII, the main protagonist in that game was very expressive. There was no moment in time where he just stand there looking like an idiot. He usually had a smile, he usually frowned when something is going on, and he had relatively shocked expressions when the situation called for it. And it's really baffling to me when they moved on to Dragon Quest XI, they just sucked away all that expression for the Luminary and just had them being a plank piece of wood in a sense. I heard somewhere that Yuji Horii intentionally made the Luminary look like this plank piece of wood during most cutscenes to essentially capture how the protagonist looked in the NES, Super Famicom, what have you. And I can't really say that for sure, but even then, if that's true, if you're using Dragon Quest XI as your barometer of saying, oh, you can't use a silent protagonist because they look like an idiot in a majority of cutscenes, you're using the worst case example right here. You essentially crippled yourself when developing the Luminary in that game because you wanted to make him look like how he looked in the NES games. Whereas you already had a perfect barometer of how to make silent protagonists look much more expressive with Dragon Quest VIII. And even then, I don't think they went far enough with the hero in Dragon Quest VIII or just silent protagonists in general. There are many ways you can make these silent protagonists much more expressive, show off more emotion throughout cutscenes, rather than just having him stand there. And obviously that means spending a little bit more money to show off that expression for the silent protagonist. But you can't just say, oh, it's going to be hard to depict a silent protagonist when it's pretty clear you don't use the tools that surround you to make them much more expressive, especially when you did it before with Dragon Quest VIII. And on top of this, there's also another piece of the spectrum when it comes down to utilizing the silent protagonist. Because in the majority of Dragon Quest games, your dialogue options are normally just yes and no. But it's pretty clear you can do more with than just yes and no. You can give more detailed answers of how characters can say a question. And hell, even some JRPGs that have voice protagonists understand this point right here. The Trail series gives you a ton of dialogue options when answering a question. And hell, what I believe to be the gold standard of giving you the most accessible amount of dialogue options being Western RPGs could be a piece of inspiration to utilize these silent protagonists to your fullest potential. So I just find it baffling with these statements that oh, it's hard to go out and develop a silent protagonist and depict them in a game as graphics become more realistic when there's been multiple examples of how to depict a silent protagonist with realistic graphics. Which once again, if you look at Western RPGs, they do this exceptionally well. Alongside Dragon Quest Contemporaries where they give you a ton of dialogue options. Now let's quickly move on and talk about Dragon Quest XII because of course, most people are speculating that Dragon Quest XII will feature a voice protagonist. And part of it does make me want to believe that, in a sense because Yuji Horii is making these statements. And why would you say these things if you're essentially alluding that the next game will have a voice protagonist? But here's the thing I think might happen with Dragon Quest XII. I probably do think that game will feature a voice protagonist, though not entirely voiced. Because of course, Dragon Quest is very deep-rooted in tradition, so most likely they might think about ways of giving the character to speak at certain moments in time, but 
for a majority of time, he still feels relatively like a silent protagonist. The best way I can put it is this, probably in cutscenes, the protagonist will speak in those cutscenes right there. But when playing regular gameplay, exploring the world, talking to NPCs, the character will feel more like a silent protagonist that you are used to in the Dragon Quest series. So that's my personal prediction right there in that regard. I don't think this character will constantly talk 24-7. I think more so he'll talk in cutscenes and he'll be more like a silent protagonist when you actually play through the game. And it does lead me to my question of why exactly Yuji Hori is now entertaining the idea of a voice protagonist. And I think it really falls down to Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. As we know already, Dragon Quest XII is trying to be a more darker Dragon Quest game. And if you play Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince or know anything about Dragon Quest IV, the story pertaining to Sorrow is a relatively dark story. I don't know how dark Dragon Quest XII will be in comparison to Sorrow Zone's backstory, but most likely they probably used Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince as a testing ground to see if a signed protagonist would work in Dragon Quest XII. And of course, if you guys know already based on my own review of Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince, one of my major criticisms of that game was they made Sorrow the silent protagonist when previously he's been a spoken character in Dragon Quest IV. And of course the one thing Hori mentioned about the protagonist just standing there looking like an idiot does persist in Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. And even then, Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince, if this was their barometer, is a bad barometer because, like I said, Sorrow was never the silent protagonist. He was always a spoken character. So why is this the potential barometer here when it's pretty clear this was going to be a bad barometer in the first place and would lead to bad judgment calls? But anyways, this is all I have to say about today's topic right here. At the end of the day, I really do hope Yuji Hori does clarify on his statements on silent protagonists because I really do think this is a bad judgment call on this regard here. You can make a silent protagonist work in a modern game with realistic graphics. It's all about utilization, and it's pretty clear with the more recent Dragon Quest games, they've underutilized these silent protagonists, hence why you have them looking like an idiot standing around. But anyways, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, plus don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe as well. And you want to see more videos, do check out these videos right here. I personally think you'll enjoy them. See you guys on the next one, take care.